Hey everyone, every pony every person out there on YouTube. So today I'm going to be opening up a Monster High doll. I have not opened up a Monster High doll in so long. And I am so excited to open up this one. <laughs> I've had it just sitting on the floor for like a couple weeks now. Uh, possibly even more, but you know me, I'm just going to finally open her up. Now I have uh, Dana uh, Treasurer Jones. <laughs> <laughs> now I picked this up at Walmart. It is $19.88 and I was so excited to have purchased her because she is just absolutely gorgeous. I love her skin tone. I love her hair color. She is just amazing. There is no other way to really explain this doll. So this is her in her box and what is cool about this doll is I'm, I'm hoping I can <laughs> hoping I can do this right, is that she's got two-in-one dresses that, you know, you're supposed to be able to just twist her dress and it's supposed to change. So we will see how this actually works out. And she's got hidden treasure in her, in the top of her headband. Yeah, that's, that's pretty awesome. Hmm. So you can also find this at Target and Toys R Us as well. And for some of you who cannot, you know, go to the stores and find them, I know you can find it on Amazon. And I think you can also find it on, you know, Walmart's website. I'm pretty sure I saw it on the website, but I can't be really positive about that. But yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and open her up and we're just going to see all of her awesomeness. I cannot wait to actually look at her hair even closer because I know it's just going to be amazing. <laughs> All right, so here she is out of the package, and she is gorgeous. Now, let me tell you, for some reason about these new Monster High dolls, they don't come with a stand anymore, and they don't come with a brush. Now, I'm not too worried about the brush since I have, like, a box full of, like, brushes and accessories, so that's not too big of a deal, but to not have a stand for us doll collectors is kind of a really big bummer. Since you're paying $20 for this doll, you know, I just assumed that it would come with a doll stand. So it's kind of, to me, a really big bummer. But first off, I just got to show you this dress. This beginning part of the dress, she's got just a painted on bodice and it just has, um, you know, it looks like little gems and stuff that you would find in, you know, a treasure chest and stuff. And then she's got this gold belt on and this part here can come off. I noticed it does have, oh, it's got the Monster High symbol on upside down, but it does come off. I'm not sure what the point of that is, but it can go right back on. And then this fabric. This fabric just has gems, hearts, um, like, I don't know if you can call them. They're kind of little stars. It's gold, and it's got the Monster High skull logo on it. And then as we move up to her face, her face wall, her skin is a really pretty gold. I have to say this is probably like the most gorgeous skin tone that I have really seen in these Monster High dolls. And this is what really attracted me to her. And she does have these cute little freckles that kind of remind me of Applejack, which is kind of funny. But I do, do really like that. And then she's got on these cute little parrot earrings these earrings. I love them. I love her lip color as well. That is, uh, I'm jealous of that lip color. And then as we move on, we have the top of her and her hair is kind of got that box head to it as usual, but it's really not too bad when you look at the front of it, which I like. Now she's got this really cool gold tinsel in there. If you can really see it, it is super beautiful. It is much better in person than it is on a camera. The camera does not do it justice. Now the top of her, she does have on a headband which I am keeping this little plastic thing in there not so I don't lose the headband and it doesn't fall off. It's got a feather in it and it's just a little you know like the treasure chest and if you open it if I can open it okay inside it has treasure look at that treasure okay that's pretty cool so if she wanted to like hide treasure in there or make up something that's pretty cool huh. and then um it's really hard to show but um, on her legs here, she does have some constellation designs, which I think is really, really unique to her. I don't know if you want to call it constellations, but it could be navigation, because I know when you're a pirate, that's what you look for when you're trying to find your buried treasure. She does have it all along her arm. And then on this side of the face, it's really hard to see, but she does have some markings there. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be, yeah, it is. It's kind of like a like indented a little bit of a constellation going just down her face. 
So that is pretty neat. And then she has on these shoes. Now she has on just these plain shoes. I'm just going to spin her leg like this. And then they do have X's on the side for like X marks the spot. So they are kind of plain. But what's cool about these shoes, and I do like that, is that this bottom part can come off. And then underneath the X marks the spot in the treasure, she found all these coins. That is really cool. So, and they clip right on and they stay on. They, I'm pulling and they're staying on pretty good. All right, so now on to this dress. This dress I actually had to take a look at and read these little instructions. I'm glad they give instructions. That comes out of this box because, you know, it'd be pretty funny if they didn't because, oh, well, I still probably would have figured it out. And it says for the contents is just this doll, which we already knew that because it didn't come with a stand, but that's okay. All right, so if you want to move this dress, okay, so what you're going to do is you need to take the back and just like unclip, well not unclip it, unvelcro the dress, okay, so you just need to unvelcro the dress, and as you unvelcro it, you have this part, which is you know, the top of her that's going to wrap around, okay? And it doesn't matter which way you do this, it honestly it doesn't. Just go ahead and we're going to Velcro, actually I'll pull it to the side here, Velcro this dress, because there is an extra Velcro going all the way down. Velcro that. Okay, then you can actually spin the dress so it fits properly, okay, and then the Velcro's in the back, oh it's kind of hard for you guys to see, I do apologize, but this part is my absolute favorite of the dress. This is just, this just makes the whole look of her amazing. So when you spin the dress it looks like this, it does have on a, you know, fabric top that's just got some lines kind of reminds me of like the ocean water and then this is the bottom of her dress it looks like a map of the ocean and it's got um, like these are islands and then X marks the spot beware there's an octopus here and then um, it's got little boats and stuff and it goes all the way around it so I absolutely love, I love this dress more than the first one. The first one I liked because of the metallic gold to it, but that's pretty cool. And then the metallic gold just kind of sits in the back like a little train or whatever you want to call it. So it just sits, you know, in the back like that. Like it's a little extra fluff in the back. And what's cool is that now these shoes can really match. Take them off. And they match this outfit really well. I absolutely love this doll. It is so amazing. I think Mattel did a really awesome job on designing this doll here. I love the dress idea. I wasn't sure how it's going to work out, but it worked out a lot better than I thought it was going to work out. So I really do enjoy that. And make sure I put the... I guess these go on a certain way. Oh, even on the bottom, there's like little X's for X marks the spot. So that's pretty cool. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, she is one of my favorite Monster High dolls now to my collection. I have not collected Monster High in a very long time. Um, I've just been... I don't know. I don't know why I haven't collected them. I love them. I absolutely adore Monster High. I just, I haven't had a chance to go out and just grab it and buy. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And you can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And all the information will be right down below. And remember, as always, that I do love every single one of you. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Aww.